the Cloudmus platform. So like I said, the Cloudmus is a decentralized um, cloud where um, the, the, the servers where your application is being hosted is not owned by a centralized body. Rather, it's individuals who have um, idle systems, computing resources that are lean idle, somewhere back in their houses, make those machines, those systems available by connecting those computers or whatever they may be, those resources into the decentralized um, network made available by Cloudmus. So with that, um, I'll go to launch um, launch the app. So what this is that um, the platform being um, in a beta phase, one should take precaution in working with it because you definitely just like you use every other dApps in um, Web3 sphere. The same is applicable here. We aren't going to be hosting our application on the main net we're going to be using a test net which is similar to any other test net network in every blockchain protocols i click on the connect wallet button and all i can see from the pop-up is the wallet that has been provided here we have a kepler wallet i already had my setup installed i'm going to use it in um, signing up Setting up a Kepler browser extension wallet is not different from how you would um, install a Metamax wallet. So I get this opened. I'm asked to, like I said, I set mine up already. I'm going to enter my password. Um, come in. It's already logged in. So this is the front. Um, how would I say the on page or the dashboard of the Cloudmos? Using this platform requires that you have testnet token, which I would show us how to get a testnet token to use. Um, here at the moment, I don't have any active deployment. The balance I have is of um, Akash or what you call it. I think it's Akash AKT is a token you use in pain for your activities on the platform uh, at the moment i don't have any active deployment if i choose deploy uh, i don't want to subscribe if i go to deploy i can see i have a lot of templates here uh, most of these templates are deployed in a container uh, for those of us who have used uh, used containers in um, running our applications online but what we'll be installing here is ubuntu we'll be setting up ubuntu on our shell but before that i wouldn't want us starting the process on the minute so we'd have to change to a test net which on this platform a test net is known as um, a sandbox so we'll go to settings under the network here we'll click on the pencil edit pencil icon and we'll choose we'll select the network we need i'm going to be selecting the sandbox so i'm going to click on save and we'll have our app reload so the app is reloaded here then i from the settings i'll go back to the deployment click on deployment so there is a facet, there's a site for a facet where we'll get our testnet from. At the moment on this tab, this is where it is um, facet.sandbox-01-akash.pw. I'll enter, it's going to give me an input address where I can put in my address. So I'll go back to my wallet to get my address. This is the token I actually need, the um, sandbox archive. What I'll do here is to get to deposit and um, copy the address I need. I can either copy the original address, which would have a sandbox account, so any one of it will go. I'm supposed to have gotten the token. Let me go back to check what my balance is at the moment. As we can see, 
before now I had uh, I had less than this quantity so it's more of like an additional 15 this is more of that token okay. the reason we needed that token is because for you to make any successful deployment you need a minimum of five akash token with that set on the way let's uh, go to i uh, click on the deployment button now these are pre-made containers just like you have docker container you use in setting up your app these are pre-made containers amidst all of them the containers that we we'll need at the moment is ubuntu so click on that and now wait for the regular setup now the setup here is almost the same thing we have for docker for anyone who have set up a docker container before now um, this is more like um, your docker compose.yaml file it's the same docker the same manifest file here you use in setting up your settings for the container that we are about installing now with that being set up i'm going to create the deployment now and wait for the response so if you remembered i said initially that we will be needing five accounts to pay not really to pay it's not like a deposit into an escrow which will still go back to your account but by the way as it is we don't have any each year because uh, we are working with a test net so uh, we'll follow through here continue and um, wait for our wallet to pop up and this same wallet if you had used uh, metamax very well is the same thing we are told here this is the message the message is referring to what we intend achieving here this is the transaction fee and uh, memo will leave memo empty we'll go to apply and uh, we'll wait for our transaction what is actually happening why the transaction is successful our container for the ubuntu is being deployed and is being set up as you can see here waiting for more bits okay what we've done now is to create a bid which a provider who would appreciate the bid at what cost what price we are going to we are willing to make purchase would uh, make available this is the price at which we'll be paying one dollar 33 cent per month which as you can see is way cheaper than what our amazon web services offer or what google platform offers or what microsoft azure also offers so at the moment i'm going to take this which is fair for me i click on it i'm going to accept bid and i'm wait for the transaction again i'm going to approve the transaction transaction has been broadcasted the deployment is ongoing with the status deploying we'll give it uh, a few seconds and here we are um, deployment is ongoing okay created container app started container app so our container is up and running and we can come back to the list we we'll see the list is ready this is um, the forwarded port but we won't be using any one of this now this is our log to know what we check up with what's happening on our server this is the shell just like your every normal shell which this shell is connected already so um, ubuntu image we had installed we have the event here gives us every of the event as is happening on our ubuntu image then we have update the update is if you decide you want to upgrade your compute or your resources for example here we had them um, cpu for 0.5 that's like half unit of cpu we could bump this up to like 5 5 or 10 whatever your usage is when you are done that you update the deployment it, at the moment we won't be doing that as it is now we've gotten our ubuntu up and running so this is an ubuntu instance running yeah moving forward is where we are going to install our zcash full node and when we get that installed we will get a test net for our zcash and um, interact with the blockchain from this part